Today at r and Homestead, we're going to be making these cool, nifty, easy flashcard holders. We've got several different sizes here. Um, and it just makes it easy to reuse and actually use your flashcards. Stay tuned. Materials that you'll need to complete this project is a 5-foot stick of half-inch PVC piping. You'll need six 90 degree PVC elbows, two T's. You'll need a hacksaw or quick PVC slash pet cutters. You'll need a ruler or a tape measure. Uh, you'll need something to mark with, either a pencil or a Sharpie. I would not suggest using a pen. It does not mark on the PVC that well. Sandpaper if you need to dipper or to uh, pre-sand for painting. Uh, if you plan on having a, a permanent solution you'll need a PVC primer and cement and then paint I'm using spray paint um, but I'm sure any other type of exterior or interior type of paint would work fine all right so one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to take our measurements of our documents so this is 11 by 9 8, 11 13 by 11 11 by 13. Alright, so here I am uh, measuring out my first piece and uh, I cut that piece and then use that piece to cut out the remainder. Um, I'll cut all like pieces together and then here I am doing a dry assembling to make sure everything fits okay and uh, doing a test fit and uh, it goes pretty quickly. All right, so I got the uh, the first two I'm making um, dry assembled. I did not put them all in; they're just uh, roughly where they need to be. Um, they're together enough that if I need to take them apart, I can. But to be honest with you, if you wanted to, you don't even have to glue these together. You could probably just put these in together, and um, and uh, they'd be good to go. Cutting it was really simple. I mean, I just did two there. They're under than 10 minutes. Um, to be honest with you, if you wanted to, you could just snug them up together, sand them off lightly or whatever, and paint them if you wanted to, and you'd be done. Um, uh, I'm going to measure out and cut out the other eight. I need two of these, and then I have, um, I have to make four of these and then with the number ones we're going to do two side by side so we'll take half the deck here and half the deck here we have addition subtraction multiplication and division so i need four of those so four of these four of these so they're going to be um these are going to be a little bit smaller or narrower this way and then these this one's is definitely going to be smaller um those are four these bigger ones here so that is what I'm at now uh, I'm going to measure out and cut out the rest of these and then get back with you all about um, gluing it up but if you're only making a couple of them easy under an hour you'd be done maybe even a half an hour being able to, to paint your first round all right we're back I uh I got all of them test fitted now. Um, as you can tell, there is a good plenty. Got a total of 10. Took me about an hour and a half to cut them and fit them. We had to play around with these small ones. My wife didn't like the, the base being as big. So I mean, I narrowed those down a little bit. This is actually gonna go in. These are just sticking in right now, um, just a little bit. So pretty much by the done, there's only gonna be a hair or a little bit over a hair in between these two fittings. So it's gonna be much narrower. Um, so I'm going to get set. Um, I'm gonna do the two big ones here. Uh, glue those up, sand them, glue them, um, go through that uh, and then knock out the rest, and I hope you enjoy the time-lapse. 
Alright, so I'm breaking everything down right now, doing a quick sanding and deburring. Um, sanding might be necessary, it'll help the, the uh, spray paint uh, adhere to it, but it's not 100% necessary if you don't feel like doing it. Um, gluing went pretty easy, I was definitely doing sub-assemblies and um, making, giving it each, each part enough time to dry and then lining it up that way. So they went together pretty quickly. All right, there we are. Um, got two of them made. Uh, they're pretty close to being even. Um, the one on the right there is a little bit more wobbly than I'd like, but um, I tried two different ways of putting them together. Um, I know on the first one, my wife helped me with it and it made it go a little bit easier having a second pair of hands, but definitely doable by yourself. Um, got to work kind of quick uh, once you join them together because it says hold for 30 seconds but with this heat right now it's like 92 degrees out right now um, it was sticking pretty quick I know when my wife and I did it the other night we uh, had um, a little bit more working time it was a little bit cooler out we were able to fiddle with it a little bit. Some of the pieces when we were putting them together were popping back out a little bit. So definitely want to make sure that they are they are in place and not moving around. <clears throat> all right, uh, got all those put together. They uh, took a little bit long, uh, probably like close to an hour and a half or so. Um, but that is all done. Uh, they all went pretty smooth. They. Uh, Doing sub-assemblies really helped out on doing I, I do a sub-assembly, a sub-assembly, a sub-assembly. Uh, I'm going to try to get these painted tonight. Um, a little bit ago, we had a storm come through. It kind of cooled off, which is good. And I'm just getting ready to go paint. Um, and it feels like it's drizzling. But in a couple of minutes, the storm might be gone. And I just have to wipe those down. Hopefully, I'll be able to paint some. Um, I do have a bunch of them. I pretty much have a can of spray paint for each one minus one. So this lime green is getting used twice. I'm sure one of our children will love that. Um, I got this handy dandy uh, spray can sprayer. Uh, if you've never used one of those before, I heard it from uh, Steve Ramsey on the Woodworking for Mere Mortals several years ago. And if you do any type of spray lacquer, spray polyurethane, spray shellac, anything that comes in a spray can, uh, this thing works amazing. Uh, it pretty much turns it into a handheld sprayer. And you can definitely control your spraying a lot better. You don't get pull ups or anything like that. And that's the big thing when it comes to spray painting. Light, uniform passes and not um, you know, saturating it too much. Multiple coats over a period of time is a lot better than trying to paint it all in one shot and calling it a day. So um, I'm going to try getting into this here in the next few minutes. I will have that another time lapse for you uh, as soon as the storm is gone. I am um, doing all the spray painting, pretty much doing one color per um, unit. Uh, each one is, is is going quickly. It, it took me about 10 minutes to do um, a rotation here. So it doesn't take very long. And by the time it was hot enough, by the time I was done with the first rotation, I was able to put on the next coat. I got two coats on the bottom and I got a coat on top. It's starting to get dark out. Um, some of them, like the blue, the red, um, I think even the yellow and the, the yellow and the green, uh, the darker green, uh, they look like they could be done. I'm still going to do another coat on the top of each of these tomorrow, and then this project will be complete. So thanks for watching, and thank you. Mm -hmm.